our yoga practice is not just that physical part. Because we do put a lot of emphasis on asana. And it's important. We need to move our bodies. We need to move our bodies because our physical form needs that sort of rhythm and breath and energy to move through things in life. But particularly emotions can get caught inside our body and inside different places within us. So today we're really working on a few things specifically to unwinding the nervous system. So we're going to begin with some acupressure points. When we do acupressure, um, we use specific points along our meridians. And the meridians are the acupuncture points in Chinese uh, medicine. And they're correlating to the nadis in yoga. Nadis are the points of light within the body. And they are connected to our chakras, which are those main seven uh, energy centers of the body. And through the whole entire energy system, the subtle body of energy that we are. So it's kind of like what animates us, what gives us life, what, what gives us breath. And that's what we're working uh, with to clear and clean everything that came before this breath. So that means all your experiences, any pain, any suffering that you've experienced on any level, be it relationships, be it something that happened as an accident, anything that you have um, trauma that's held in the body, we're gonna work on that. So they don't have to particularly come to the surface for you to work on them. You don't have to think about them for you to work on them, but they may arise. And they arise so that you can lovingly and compassionately hold space for whatever's there. So let's begin. And also I wanna give you option to lay down and do this. If you're feeling tired, especially today, if you're feeling heavy, it may feel good to do this from a reclining position and just make sure you're comfortable. Okay, so we're going to begin to release first some muscular armor that we've been carrying around. And so we're going to start with the first pressure point. It's called GB21. And it's um, on the top of the shoulders, directly below the earlobes. And so you're feeling for kind of the tightest point in your shoulder muscle. Okay, so I found mine there sort of, here's my earlobes and here's the point. So I'm gonna put my fingers right on that tight spot and apply firm pressure. So as we apply the pressure, we're gonna close our eyes. We'll take several soft, easy breaths. So not deep yet. Just soft, easy, calming breaths, rhythmic breaths, natural breaths, just tuning in. So we're entering into sacred space now. We're entering into this space that we're dedicating to our own healing. And even though we may be moving slow at times, allow patience to arise. So you meet that patience or impatience with grace. And you just allow this time the spaciousness of this time so that you can release, so you can let go, so you can open and feel more energy. Let's start to deepen our breath. We'll be here for another minute or so. Slow, deep breaths now, releasing, imagining that tension starting to dissipate. Just letting it melt underneath your fingers. Sending your breath there. Soft jaw, soft face. And we're just talking to our body through these points. We're giving ourselves permission to release any unnecessary tension that we've accumulated on our shoulders. And here you can say the affirmation, big breath in and out. I'm safe and secure. I'm grateful to be alive. 
Perfect. And then let's release. Rest your hands on your lap for a moment. Just breathe easily. And then anytime you need to change positions, this is really self-care time. So just give yourself all you need. Whatever per, um, position feels good for you. Just try to let go of any distractions. It's the most thing. Just really be here with me and with yourself. Letting go of everything else. Okay, so next point, SI10. And this is on the upper back where the arms and the shoulder blades meet. Okay, two inches up from the back of your armpit. Here's your armpit, two inches up. Okay, arms and shoulder blades meet. It might go a little back behind the armpit. Can you see my armpit's here? So I'm gonna go back behind it. Okay, it's kind of under the arm. If you feel for like maybe a tender spot, most likely you'll be able to like, oh yeah, that's the spot. So you wanna look for where the muscle kind of feels a little tight. Work in there, okay? So once you, I cross my arms here, right? In front of myself as I reach around, it's kind of like you're giving yourself a hug. Okay, so I'm finding that point. I got it really good on my left shoulder. Make sure you get both shoulders. Yes, there it is. Okay, so it's gonna be a little tender. That's normal. Okay, so this is the area we may be holding tension as well. We're gonna simultaneously let our shoulders relax away from our ears. And again, just let yourself breathe naturally for a few moments, just allowing. We're just applying enough pressure so we're not tensing ourselves further. You wanna feel like the fingers are there, almost giving you a little zap deep into not just muscle, but all the layers of tissue, nerves, fluids that live in that area. And as you breathe and soften your throat, your lips, your tongue, You'll find that your breath will naturally deepen. And we're allowing this special sort of energetic medicine to enter into our emotional body, our mental body as we feel our physical body subtly transform. We also call in our divinity, our higher self. The part of us that was so wise to show up today to do this work. If you feel like your hands tense, Try to soften, you don't even need to hold it really hard. So you don't have to apply tons of pressure, just enough for your body to know that you're, you're holding yourself. Last 20 seconds or so. Easy, deep breathing. And our little affirmation here is, I trust my body to heal itself. I trust my body to heal itself. I create space for me to be renewed. I create space for renewal. Good, exhale this whole breath out. As you release your breath, release your hands and arms again. You can plant your hands on your knees face down or next to you face down, just helping you feel the ground. And take a few moments just to receive this good medicine. Maybe you notice as you breathe, that it's more, you have more awareness in your arms and shoulders. You might notice you have a little more space at your upper back. Maybe more attention to your back body in general. 
So the next point is the bladder 10, B10. It's in the upper neck on the tightest spot. So, you know, typically on either side of your neck, you kind of have, right, the base of your skull here and then like these planes of muscle. This is actually your erector spinae and it goes all the way along either side of your spine. So you're looking on that area, that line on either side of your vertebral column, upper neck, cervical spine, and you're looking for the tightest points, okay? So go ahead and just use, I like to use my middle fingers or index fingers, just kind of looking, massaging. And once you get that, find that spot, Maybe there's lots of spots. <laughs> so just look for your tightest, okay? And then start there. Just hold gently, let your elbows relax. I'm gonna kind of curve your fingers. And you're right in those upper neck muscles. And we're working to release any stress that we're carrying in our neck. Right on either side of the spine, not at the center of the bone. We're about one thumb's distance away from the center on either side. I'm working both sides, one for each hand. And just applying enough pressure to feel. You can bring your breath there underneath your fingertips. So take some deep breath moments. Send your energy and your attention right there. Kind of lean your head slightly back. Lengthen, breathing, filling the lungs now completely. Notice if there's any areas of your mouth or face that start to tense as you breathe deep. And simultaneously relaxing, so I might notice you know, a little tension that I bring to my jaw when I breathe deep. So I'm gonna let my lower jaw hang a little bit more, separating my lips. So again, I'm just, you know, getting that biofeedback. Your biology is gonna feed back to your brain. You're gonna feel the information, that feedback loop coming to you. And what you do with it, you know, that's up to you. So you listen to the feedback with compassion, with non-judgment. And then you do what you can with breath and attention to soften, let go, working on surrender, peacefulness, peace mind. Bringing in also that peaceful heart, peaceful to the core. Another 30 seconds. And slowly allow this next breath. You fill up your lungs completely. And exhale, release your palms again, back to your lap or to the sides of your body. So a calming mind. You can hold these points really at any time during the day when your hands are free, even when you're watching something or listening to something. And you can do this acupressure session just those three moves you know even up to three to five times a day but once a day if you can remember those points remember it's the tops of your shoulders across to the outer edges of your arm and then right at your neck and that's going to help to reboot help you feel human again help to release about 90 percent of any mental disorientation and any sort of stress symptoms 
So if you're on your back, go ahead and roll over onto your side and gently press yourself up. If you're sitting, go ahead and extend your legs straight out in front of you and lean back on your hands and just give yourself a little wiggle wobble through your legs. And we're going to do some hip opening, but from seated position. So as I turn to my side, what I want you to do is plant your feet about hips distance apart. If you're leaning back on your hands, you can turn your fingertips in, out to the side, whatever direction your hands can both support. You want your hands a little bit back behind you so you can get your torso and trunk to be straight and strong. So you can kind of lift your chest, hold the shoulders back. Cross your right ankle over your left thumb, kind of like we would do for figure four in a reclining position. And you can always slide your leg out further if you need or bring it further in, just depending on how much tension you want to give to that hip. So come to whatever position feels good for you. Flex your right foot over that thigh. You want to make sure the ankle is entirely off the knee and off the thigh. Okay, press your right knee away from you. Lift your chest and heart and lean back and take a few breaths. Good. release that, changing sides. Right foot comes to the floor, left foot crosses over. You can always help it. Again, slide your right foot out if you need some extra support. If you want to go deeper, if you're not feeling it as much, you bring your foot in a little closer. Left knee pushes away. Use your inner thigh and groin to do that work. Keep your left foot flexed. And again, push your hands into the floor. You can always turn your fingers out in a different direction. Shoulders roll back. Chest lifts, take a few breaths. Perfect, now let's release that. Send both feet down on the ground. Separate your knees so they slide open. Soles of the feet are together on the floor. Walk your hands in, grab your ankles, sit up tall again, and turn to you. Sit up tall again, lift the heart, and then pull forward. Take your hands to your feet, give yourself a little massage, turn the soles of your feet up towards the sky like you're opening a book. And then use your thumbs on your feet, use your thumbs to massage the inner line of the arch of your foot. And then lean forward a little bit more. Okay, just saying hello to the hips and at the same time honoring our feet. Just take us everywhere we need to go. If you'd like, you can bow your head in. You can use your elbows on your knees to apply some pressure to open the hips wider. Lots of permission. Again, just knowing that you can always adapt these poses to what feels right for you. So if you want to do this laying down, if it's too much sitting up, that's always an option. Go ahead and take your fingers and massage every single, single toe tip. Okay, so the tips of your baby toes all the way through to your big toe, little squeezes on your toes. Good, and then hold the neck of each of your toes. So I'm kind of pinching my toes on either side. I'm pinching each toe around the neck of each toe and then giving them a little wiggle. We don't often get our feet touched, so this should feel pretty good. It's help actually loosening some of the joints throughout the whole body. All of our nerve endings, most of them, I shouldn't say all, but most of them end up at our feet. So any work we do on our feet is very potent and powerful. If you're noticing that your feet are sore these days, give, your, give them extra attention. You can always use a tennis ball or um, you know, like a racquetball or some little round ball to roll your feet out, okay? All right, let's come on up, everyone. Inhale, and then exhale, extend the legs straight out in front. So flex and point your feet a couple times. Flex and point. Good. And sitting in Dandasana, so your hands are right next to you. You can also place a few pound blocks 
You can also place your hands on blocks if you can't reach the floor. Okay, so we're just pointing and flexing and sitting up tall. You also want to make sure that as you sit up tall, you're not letting your shoulders round forward. Okay, so this is just a postural thing. So my hands are by my side on the blocks or just at the floor. And I want to make sure I'm not letting my shoulders round forward and my back to upper back to round. I want to keep those shoulder heads back. I want to keep my shoulder blade blades sliding down my back. I want to kind of pull in some energy through my belly. So it's like we're working a little bit of Bonda action, like the Uddiyana Bonda, the stomach action, pulling back and in. And then you want to also feel your sitting bones on the floor. So the tip point of your pelvis kind of driving down into the floor, sitting up real tall, crown of the head pressing upwards towards the floor, toes curling back, taking three deep breaths. Legs are nice and firm. You want to feel like you're kind of pressing the backs of your legs into the floor. Good. For three big breaths. Exhale. Two. Stay tall. Keep the hands firmly pressing. Backs of the legs firmly pressing. Spine lengthening. One more breath. Exhale all the way out. So empty your lungs. Feel those lower ribs kind of pin in towards your midline. Squeeze the belly, all your breath out. On your next inhale, reach the arms up and turn the palms, like interlock your fingers and turn the palms up to the sky. Good, just keep that reach, but also let your shoulders come down away from your ears. So I'm pushing the palms of my hands, fingers interlock up to the sky as my legs straight out in front. Stay with me here. We're gonna do a little bit of rounding and curling. So the mo motion looks like this. We're gonna press the ceiling with the, sole, with the palms of our hands. We're staying in Dandasana. We're gonna round our back. Good, on purpose. Yes, and then we're gonna inhale, come back up, push. Lift, lengthen, flex, and then round the back. Good. So let's see if we can get in three more of that. Inhale up. Sitting bones drawing down, plugging in. Exhale, round. Tuck the tail, round. See, curl your spine. Inhale up. Reach. And exhale, round. You should feel a little burst of energy. Inhale up. Good. Reach, reach, reach. Lots of energy. Exhale, release your hands down along your sides. Okay, before we come to standing, one more thing. Let's take our right foot, bend your knee, and plant it on the inside of your left foot. So it looks like this, like you're gonna do a twist, because that's exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, so foot's on the inside of the left knee. Use your left hand to hook your leg. Okay, once you hook your right leg with your left arm, your right hand comes down again to the floor. Okay, so shoulders are gonna be level across. We're not working this twist through the head and neck. We wanna just keep the chin above like the right chest point. And I really want you to work on pulling the belly in on exhale. On inhale, lengthen your spine. Try to kind of pull your whole entire rib cage up away from your hips. Good, and then use your arms as leverage to squeeze any tension out of the lower spine. Good, your sitting bones stay plugged. Right, one more breath. Long inhale, grow a little taller. Peel the belly button up and away. Good, exhale, twist a little deeper. Good, on your next breath out, slowly return back to center line. Again, you might feel a little rush of energy. Switch it out. Other side, turn this way so you guys see me better if you're looking. Hook the right arm around the left bent knee, left hand behind you on the floor. Okay, again, we wanna pull those shoulders open across the front as we're turning our trunk, okay? It's like we're spiraling from the floor up all the way to the crown. So that's the lengthening we do on our inhalation. On the exhalation, you're using your arms to help you twist, but you're still also pulling the navel, the rib cage, 
and everything drawing away from the floor. So you want to really feel that hollowing of the belly. Good. One more. Two. Let's do two more big breaths. Staying with it. Lengthening up through the crown of the head. Exhale, twisting. Not with the neck, just with that arms and upper back. Just feel this opening through the, the quadratus lumborum, the lumbar muscles around the rib cage, especially back ribs, big wash to your kidneys, liver, those internal organs getting a nice rinse. Exhale, release back to center. And let's bring both legs out, lean back, shake them out. And let's get a little reverse table in before we come to standing. So come up and push from here. This time I have my fingertips pointing back behind just to give my wrist something new to do. If you've already done that movement, maybe you turn your fingertips to face your bottom as you lift. Let's do two. As you come, try to squeeze your booty in towards the midline, draw your shoulders back, push your knees forward towards the front of your mat, and then you can start by looking across the front of your belly, belly button drawing in, or you can let your head gently just come back enough to where you feel like you're lengthening out to the crown behind you. For me, letting the head drop back also feels good, so if you want to get that little extra added neck stretch, go ahead and do that. Exhale, lower down, all the way, sitting bones to the earth. Wrap your arms around your legs. Give yourself a hug. And then let's come into squat pose. So you're going to push up onto your feet. Go wide with your knees. We're going to do a little moving squat, kind of like a little frog movement here today. It's a little vinyasa. It's uh, in the energy of like kundalini yoga. So we're going to be inhaling and exhaling as we do the motion. Then turn to the side. You'll want to bring your heels, if you can, to touch, even if you're on your tippy toes, which I prefer when we do this. So the inhale is to lift the chest and the exhale is to Extend the legs, staying up high on your tippy toes. So it's inhale, look up, exhale, squeeze in. We're going to start with moving through this at a gentle pace, nothing too fast. Something that you feel you can do. And we're working on getting up to about 22 of these and they're going to feel very intense as you get past about 11, that halfway point. So see if you, if you haven't started counting, it's okay. I'm counting. If you're staying at my pace, we're at 8, 9, 10, 10, 10. keep going, counting. If you can't get this and it's too much for your knees, just stay in squats or stay in forward bend. And then you can always do mini movements, smaller movements, okay? So we should be around 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, two more, 21 and 22 and rest. Grab your elbows, stay in your standing forward bend, and just let your breath and your body hang and dangle. Shake out your head and neck, let go of your arms, and then slowly bend your knees and come into chair pose. So you can either start with your hands on your knees, lightning bolt pose. You can have your feet hips distance apart, or you can bring your big toes to touch. 
and you're sitting down as if you have an invisible chair behind you. Once you feel strong here, you can activate your quads more, bringing your hands to heart center. Or if you're feeling extra strong today, bring the arms right alongside your ears. Okay, so chair pose, breathing and lengthening. Stay with it, just two more breaths. I'm doing a little pulse here. And inhale, stand strong, reach up, squeeze the buns as you reach. Give yourself a little baby back bend. So pelvis presses forward, heart lifts up, lean it back. Good, hands to heart center. You're in mountain pose now. So pause in mountain. And allow your mountain pose to be as strong as you feel today. You want to balance your weight right to left foot. Big toes to big toes. Balls of the feet to heels. So rock a little bit. Good, feeling your mountain. Connect your heels to the ground more or less feeling like the sitting bones and the heels have a direct line with each other. Shoulders and sitting bones, ears and shoulders. So you feel that one strong line going all the way down your side body. Take another breath all the way up the back of your body, all the way to the crown of your head. Exhale down the front of your body. So you're just imagining a stream of energy. Inhale up the back of your body. Just imagining with your breath. You don't have to do the motion. And exhale, imagine your breath coming down to the tops of your feet. One more time, microcosmic orbit breath. Inhale up the backs of the legs. Imagine you're pulling your energy all the way up to the crown. And then exhale, let that energy spill down the front of your body as you exhale. So it's just like helping to circulate your prana. Good. All right, beginning our moon salutations. Let's see, I'm gonna turn my mat now so you guys can see. Moon salutations are always done on the wide end of our mat. And it's also done facing the side, okay? So you wanna face the wide side of your mat so you have mat on either side of you to take a wide stance, okay? Big toes to touch, heels slightly apart, hands begin in prayer position. So we honor the cycles of the moon through the moon salutation, and uh, it becomes like a moving prayer, just like your sun salutation. Now this is not as linear as a sun salutation. It's more fluid, it's more um, asymmetrical. And so we're moving in a way that just allows a certain pace that supports our body where we're at. So if you need to slow down or if you wanna go ahead and speed up, please feel free. So let's begin on the inhale, open the palms from the heart, feel our gratitude as we reach up into the sky. Again, interlock the hands above your head, but just palms of the hands together, point the in index fingers up to the sky. Inhale. And exhale, arc to the right. So you're gonna crescent your body directly so your left side body is opening and you're reaching up and through your whole entire right side of your body. Good, inhale, center. Exhale, opposite side. Over to the left. Breathing in and breathing out. Staying with it. Staying with the wonderful stretch. A little bit bit of lift in your booty so you feel that squeeze in towards your midline. Inhale center, exhale step out right and come into goddess pose. Okay so my toes are in the direction of my knees so if I look down my knees are moving out wide over my toes. My arms are going to be kind of in a field goal position but I'm going to take my index and thumb tips together this is Gyan Mudra. Let's do, actually, let's do Prithi Mudra, which is the index and ring fingertips together. Okay, so touch that. Prithi Mudra means earth mudra. So really feeling our ground and connection to the earth. Inhale, reach up. 
Exhale, bring your right hand down. It's like a little mini triangle. You're gonna slide your hands. Right hand down your leg, left arm up to the sky. You wanna feel lots of activity through the course. You're holding yourself here lightly. Inhale, come back up to that big X marks the spot. Exhale, left hand to the floor. Slide the left hand down, reach the right arm up. Breathing. And it's not a settling position. You're really feeling your feet press. You're really feeling your arms extend. Good, inhale all the way back up again. Exhale, take your left hand now, place it on your right thigh. And we're going across the body, right thigh, and then slide it down. Then you can rotate, looking up, almost like you're doing a twisting triangle, right? That kind of motion, moving and wringing out the spine, looking up at the hand if that feels comfortable. Push down through the feet, inhale, come back up. Exhale, bring your left hand down, right, right hand down to your left thigh and slide it down. Twist it, open it. So you'll feel some stretch along the inner thighs and groin, also feel the backs of the legs. You can slide down as deep or as shallow as you'd like. Good, from here, push through the feet as you inhale, stretch the arms out. Really reach into space, legs, feet, hands, fingers. And now exhale, come back into your goddess pose. Prithi mudra. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my right weight to my right hip, bring my hands down to the floor. So over my right toes, okay? Now if you can come down into half squat, do it. You can bring that knee forward. Okay, so this is where we're going to do a little bit of a shift. So typically we go here and then to the other side, but today we're gonna to turn on our mat to high lunge. So we're at high lunge to the right, on the right side, right knee is still bent. And now if you want to make this even more interesting, you can come all the way up, give yourself a crescent warrior. And then the final stage that's new is you straighten that right leg and come to fold in pyramid. Now I'm still up on my heel, on my back foot, just to support me. So you fold in, breathe deep, and then we're gonna pivot. So we're gonna pivot on our right foot, turn the toes in, turn, keep the left toes in, and now walk your hands to the middle. Doing the same thing on the other side now. So we're gonna bend in the half squat as much as we can. It doesn't have to be deep, okay? Because remember, we're gonna pivot back to the left side of our mat, left knee now bent, right leg back, nice and straight. Like you're gonna start a run, okay? You're gonna take off on a marathon. <laughs> but we're sinking the hips, stretching back through the heel. Good, from here, feel strong. Take your arms up, find your balance. Crescent warrior, couple breaths. Exhale, hands to the floor, straightening your forward leg as much as you can. Again, if you have blocks and it's difficult for you to hold here, you can always use the blocks. If blocks aren't handy, the best thing to do is just stay in a variation on the lunge, but start to straighten that forward leg. Fold your forehead in towards your shin. Work where you are, honoring. Remember, we're, we're taking stressors away. We're not adding two. Back to the pivot, turn the left toes in, bring the right heel down, you're coming right center through the body. Come into a full wide stretch, full. So forward bend all the way down. If you'd like, you can grab your heels or your ankles. Let your head hang. So you're stretching the crown of your head down to the, the floor. Wide stance position, wide fold. Now you have one other new fun thing to do. This is the interlock of the hands. So from here in your fold, clasp your hands behind your back and then reach your arms to the sky from here. And you should get a little release to your upper back and neck, maybe even a little pop. 
and then slowly release. We're coming back into goddess pose. So turn the toes out. Bend like you're coming into a big squat. Get your goal posts out. Get your prickly mudra out. Turn your palms in towards you. And as you inhale, stretch up. Reach. Exhale, you're gonna step both feet together to the center of your mat. I just realized I probably step differently than you guys, but do your best, okay? We're gonna start now on the other side. <laughs> One more round, you guys. Inhale and exhale. Get your crescent pose on the left. Good, inhale, center. Exhale, crescent right. Inhale, center. Step out left. You guys get nice and warm, I bet. I am. It feels great. Deep breath in and out. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, left hand comes down, left thigh. Little triangle here. Your favorite variation, pressing through the feet. Strong belly. Nice, stretch the side body. Inhale, center. Reach. Exhale, right hand. Left arm reaches to the sky. Open for your triangle. Try and go with little funky toes, right? Toes are turning out this whole time. Helping to open the hips. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, let's switch. Right hand comes across the body. We get in that little twisting version. Open up, look to the sky. Feel the warmth, feel the energy start to moving. We are awakening. Energy flow, inhale, big pranic breath. Exhale, changing sides. Reach and squeeze. Squeeze out the tensions. Bring out, bringing fresh fluid to all the organs. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, goddess pose. Got my Prithvi Mudra. Going to the left now. Left hand, left knee to the floor. Starting with that lunge, twist it around over to the left. Left knee stays bent. Good. Crescent warrior. Some of you may want to put that right foot down for real warrior. <laughs> warrior one. Fierce warrior. We've all had to enjoy this fierce life right now. Fierce ways of living. Refreshed, renewed. We're being asked to level it up. Inhale, reach the whole body. Get a big stretch the heart. Bend it back a little bit more, sink it in a little bit more. Exhale, forward fold over the straight forward leg. Breathe in, breathe out. Notice that we're getting a nice stretch along the low back area, just above the sacrum, lumbar spine. Tuck the chin in, press through the feet, lengthen the spine, see if you can go a little bit deeper. Use your breath. Good. So we're going to pivot, turning the left toes in. Go through center. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, lower down to the right knee side. Half squat. Perfect. Turn to the right. Open into your lunge. Back leg floating strong. Left heel pulling back, sinking the hips, pulling in belly. Arms are your support. Good. Push down through your feet. Get your stability. If you want, you can let your left foot come down onto the floor. Inhale, warrior one. Forward stance, warrior. Bring in that breath. All the way up to the fingertips. Soft face. Little Mona Lisa smile. Exhale, both hands to the floor. Fold in, forehead to the shins. Breathing deep. Circulate your prana. Firm upper legs, squeeze inner thighs. Go a little deeper. See if you can lengthen the crown of your head towards the top of your right foot. Good, and pivot. Right toes in. Left toes stay where you are. Let's fold. So first start with the inhale, flat back, wide stance. Exhale, fold in. You can reach to grab your heels. You can walk your hands between your legs and back behind you. 
Get that nice wide forward stretch. And as soon as you feel ready, we have that one last little fun thing. Interlock your hands behind your back. Squeeze those arms, draw the shoulders up and around. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Good, <laughs> little balancing pose. Release your hands to the floor. We're gonna come up, turn the toes out. Goddess leg, so wide squat. Bringing the arms up, Prithvi Mudra. Inhale and exhale. Sink a little deeper. Good, you guys got this. Inhale, stretch up. And exhale, step the feet together. And release. Hands to heart center. Coming onto your knees. Palms stay at your heart. It's a little supported back arch. We're going to first begin feeling like we're in mountain pose on our knees. So same feeling. Uncurl the toes, so tops of the feet flat on the ground. Placing your fist, right fist, right above your right butt cheek, left fist, right above your left butt cheek. Either side of your spine, elbows pull back, shoulder blades connect. So we're gonna squeeze everything up on the upper back. Okay, I just wanted to curl my toes under again, so if you guys have to do it, then press your pelvis forward towards the front of your mat. Lift the chest, lift the heart. Draw the elbows towards each other. Expand the chest. Four, two. And one. Inhale, lead with your heart. So squeeze your inner groins together as you come back up and then sit easily back on your heels. If you need to get a cushion or underneath your booty, do so, or a block. Place it between your heels and sit down, or if it's safe for you to sit between your heels, please do in hero's pose. So just take some easy breaths. Some of you may want to go further with this on the thigh stretch as long as it's safe for your knees. Look at your legs and make sure the upper leg bones are parallel. You don't have to roll them in. You can have some space between them. Take your hands back. So you can start here. You can also come back onto your elbows. If it feels safe, hug your navel in, squeeze the booty up, and then set it back down if you'd like. If this is too much on your legs, you can always stand up and do this from the wall or from holding the edge of something and go into one leg version. You can also do one leg version at the floor. Okay, so we're working with our right thigh. We're just doing one leg version, both legs. Some of you can go all the way back. And just do what feels most safe for you. If you want to open your legs extra wide, you are welcome to. We're really just looking for what can All right, I got booted off for a minute. Sorry, I'm back now. <laughs> and life happens. 
You guys did great. So if you if you did make your way up, good thing. I'm glad you did. I didn't want you to be there that long. So let's go ahead and come back to an easy sitting position. So swing your legs back out in front of you and just sit easy for a few moments. So breathing, breathing in, breathing out. I'm hoping you've got a little bit of sweat going on your body. I hope you're feeling really extra good right now. So as you hang in this little pre lying back position. I want you to check in and see how your body has shifted, how your mind has shifted, how your heart has shifted, just by kind of doing this cleansing work we just did from our moon salutation. Just noticing the warmth, inviting in your peacefulness. And give you another affirmation as you sit another minute or so. I have faith that I am taken care of. I have faith that I'm taken care of. I have faith that I'm taken care of. Feeling the breath as it moves through you, scanning your body for any areas that still have tension remaining, giving yourself that sense of connection to those parts that are tense and softening them with your breath. I am living in the present moment. I am here now. And I release my past. Beautiful work, everyone. All right, so we're going to lay on our backs and just pull the knees into the chest. You need a little drink of water or something to kind of help you. Kind of get, if you need to run to the restroom, this is a good time to do so. We have a, a very short sequence today on our backs before we go into some guided relaxation. And just rest your feet now on the ground, letting your knees stay bent. I'm going to be sitting up for the sequence. I'm just going to talk you through it. Um, if I feel like there needs to be a, um, a demo of, of the posture, I'll go ahead and do it. But for right now, just lay on your back, knees bent, and feet on the earth. And just place your hands across your belly. And take a few deep, slow breaths, letting the weight of your body really sink down into the earth. Perfect. So we're going to pull the right knee in towards the chest. I can go ahead and show this movement. Pull the right knee in towards your chest. Hugging in, take a nice long breath in. Exhale, lift the head up towards the knee. Bring the nose to the knee. Squeeze the navel back, pull up through the pelvic floor, and then release the hands to reach. It's a little bit of ab work here. Then we're gonna pull, we're just gonna pump a couple times. Three, two, one. Place the hand, leg, the body back as you pull the leg back in towards the chest. Good. Straighten that same leg up to the sky. Point and flex the foot a couple times. Circle at the ankle a couple times. Slide the hand up the back of your leg as far as you can comfortably reach while keeping your leg straight. Take a nice long breath in. 
Exhale, use your hands to help you pull up. You wanna to try to get both shoulder blades up off the ground. Press the low back down. Feel like you're pushing your leg also down into the floor. Lift the forehead towards the shin bone. Bring your shin bone towards your, towards your head. Good, so we're here. Hugging the belly button back. Hugging the pelvic floor in, so Mula Bandha. So we kind of got the whole Maha Bandha going. Chin towards the chest, belly button in, pelvic floor in, little sips of breath for three, two, one. Lay back, take the leg with you. And then open it out to the side, just slightly. Let your left knee fall open all the way, like you're in a half butterfly pose. And then use your right hand to bend your knee towards your right arm pit. Kind of like a half happy baby, okay? My left hand's gonna rest on the inside of my left thigh. My right hand grabbing from the outer foot if possible, pressing that right knee down towards the floor. Lay back, take a couple breaths. And again, we're gonna peel the head up off the ground. So holding your hands exactly where they are. Lift the head, see if you get your shoulder blades up. So both shoulder blades off the floor, you're feeling your back ribs against the floor. Push down through both hands, opening up, looking straight forward between your legs, holding the belly button back, holding the pelvic floor in, feeling this whole entire lock of prana into your midline. And exhale, release. Both feet to the ground, knees bent, pause. Again, one hand on the belly, both hands on the belly, and resting with your hands, soften. Return to the natural rhythm of your breath. We'll be on the other side shortly, but just notice how we open up that whole entire right side of the body. Feel the difference between the two sides. Perfect, let's pull the left knee in towards the belly. Switching it out. Deep breath in. Hugging that left knee in tight. Let's lift the forehead up towards the knee or the nose to the knee. Squeeze in tight. You can kind of clasp your hands around your shin to pull in tight. Pull the pelvic floor in. Move on. Pull the belly button back. Uddiyana on. Pull the chin down and in. No hands, reach. And then little pumps. Good, three, two, one. Hug the arms around your leg, lean back, lay back. Good, nice and tight, keep it up. Reach the left leg to the sky, point and flex. Circle at your ankle a couple times, both directions. Slide the hands up the back of your leg, hold on somewhere, wherever you can comfortably reach, keep that leg straight. Deep breath in. Exhale, lift the forehead up towards the shin. Peel the whole entire back body as much as you can off the ground. So coming up as high as you can, squeezing the inner body, the belly, the pelvic floor, feeling everything lift to the midline. Hug that leg in, try to keep it straight. For five, four, sips of breath, three, two, one. Lay back, bring the leg with you. Good, open it just a little further out now. Let the right leg fall open all the way. Now, bending your left knee, come into half happy baby on the left side. Right hand comes to the right inner thigh. Apply some pressure. Soften your body weight back into the earth. Take a few easy breaths. Melting, relaxing, softening, sinking, opening. Last movement before we go into Shavasana. Do our other little acupressure points. Last move, big breath in. Give it all you can. Exhale, lift your head up, peel your shoulders off the ground. Look straight between your legs. Apply that pressure to your legs. Pull the belly in, pull the pelvic floor in. You're activating that deep inner strength. And holding three little sips, two. And one, lay back, release your left foot, bring both feet down to the floor. One hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. Pause, you can let your knees come towards each other. You can let your feet be wide on your mat. 
So stay here as we do these final acupressure points. So we're gonna do GV24 between the eyebrows, the indentation where the bridge of the nose joins the forehead, okay? So right here, I'm just gonna press my index fingers there. You can do this laying down, it's perfectly okay. Your chin is gonna just go down slightly. You're gonna press the palms together. You can even kind of pull your middle finger up and your index finger so they're both touching. We're just here for another 30 seconds. I want you to visualize a calm, restful, safe, trusting place right here inside yourself. This third eye point also helps relieve pain, headaches, dizziness, any emotional irritability or instability balances your pituitary gland. It helps to relieve anxiety. And relax. Now take one finger on each side above the eyebrows. I actually like doing it this way. So maybe a thumb and index finger. And they're gonna be um, one finger width above the eyebrows in line with the center of your, your iris. So like where your eyeball would be, but above your eyebrows. Okay, so that same line. Okay, you're just gonna press there gently. This is a GB 14, gallbladder 14, clear mind, acupressure point. And then start to kind of use the lightest touch possible. So you're just barely hovering those fingers on those points. And we're just gently stimulating that point, lightest touch possible, total emotional balancing point. Right there above your eyebrows, same line as your iris. Clearing the mind, relieving pain, Rele releasing trauma and shock. And we're gonna relax our hands, last point. We're gonna do the inner point of Three finger widths. We're gonna start with the right hand on the left arm. Kind of, um, if you just follow the line from your wrist up the middle of your, um, middle of your forearm, okay? I'm just gonna go up about, let's see, uh, directly behind your thumb. So you're gonna come down maybe about four inches below your wrist line. Let me just move these guys out of the way so you guys can see better. This is called the inner gate, okay? P6. So place, placing our thumb on, um, right thumb on this point, we're positioning our fingertips on the outside behind the thumb and firmly grasping for one minute as we breathe. Three finger widths, there we go, three finger widths from the center of the inner wrist crease. So, three finger widths. So you're giving that firm grasp. Fingers are on the other side, opposite of your thumb. This relieves nervousness, nausea, insomnia heart palpitations, wrist pain, calms emotional upset. It balances the inner world. Okay, then we're gonna switch to the other side. So we're gonna go over to thumb, um, or left thumb on the right. So down from three finger widths from the wrist creases on the thumb side. 
We're holding the fingers on the opposite of our thumb as we hold. And we're applying a firm grasp, breathing deep. The cool thing is, as we typically hold and just release the fingers, we're also simultaneously holding what's called the outer gate. So the P6 point where our thumb is, is inner gate. Outer gate is on the outside, TW5. It's um, equally as strong. Helps to relieve shoulder pain and wrist pain, boosts the immune system and harmonizes just all relations that you have. Perfect. All right, so let's relax. Just let everything go now, coming into your Shavasana position. During Shavasana, you can hold um, a mudra, and it is an acupressure mudra, as all of our mudras, hand positions, are for yoga. They are actually subtle energy postures that we have. They're smaller, and they're just done with our fingers. So as you get comfortable on your back, maybe a little pillow under the backs of your knees, maybe something to cover your eyes. Just getting really comfortable to rest and receive. So we'll nourish ourselves with the Balanced Love P9. Go to the base of your middle finger nail and you hold that base of your middle finger nail with your thumb as you rest in Shavasana today. It's called P9, you hold this point fairly firm and just take easy breaths. So again, we're holding at the base of the middle finger nail with our thumb. Whoops, <laughs> gotta get it right here. Middle finger and thumb, base of the nail. You're holding with your thumb. So we're holding this point fairly firm this point can instantly calm a panic attack and comfort the emotions. So we're allowing ourselves to drop into our Shavasana using this balanced love P9 point. Letting our bodies rest gently into the earth, softening all the muscles of the face and jaw, throat, scalp, inner ear, and space behind the eyes. Soft jaw, soft lips. Allowing the shoulders to relax, the chest to relax, the rib cage to relax. Back door of the heart soft. Spinal column soft. Belly soft. Relaxing all the muscles in and around your pelvis, front and back. Relaxing down the length of your legs, all the way to your feet. Blanket of peace washing over you. And this time you can release your mudra and just let your hands naturally relax and curl. Continue to relax all the way down the length of your arms into your hands.
end with a little chakra meditation. I root down red. My spine, a sturdy tree, holding earth. My breath, weather for my tree, the winds. I rain, I risk whisper, orange flower blooms right around the low belly level I open. The rising sun warms yellow on my trunk. My heart branches out reaching green. My leaves touch the leaves of those I love. Blue sky lifts, light, air. And I stay in my favorite place, watching the birds. At dusk, the moon appears. My third eye, indigo, a place between blue and black, here and there, where the answers come. The sun is now set, and violet night reveals the stars. They allow me a passage beyond, and I go. And there, silent, I touch the places that were stars inside me, and yet I find my roots back here at home, red at the base of my spine. So as we return, feeling our bodies against the earth and the floor, feeling this precious time and honor the journey in which our bodies opened. Honor the places that were once stuck. Take a breath and feel that openness there and invite it to stay. And then as you feel ready, take a big breath and stretch yourself out. Reach through the toes, reach through the hands and fingers. Stretch the arms overhead. Let out a big sigh or a big moan, groan, or yawn. And roll gently to your right side and curl up there. The right side is our solar side. It is the pingala channel. So the, the side that is your active channel. So as we turn to the right, we're kind of inviting this little wake up so we can finish up whatever we need to do for our day. But we invite the sense of peace to go with us, to stay with us, to walk with us as we finish at our day and move into our dream worlds. And with this absolute love and care and compassion for ourselves, we make our way up to a seated position. And we'll sit tall together, taking a few deep breaths. It's whatever comfortable seat you can take. Bring your palms together at your heart center, thumbs right at the sternum. 
Pressing the fingers together, relax the shoulders down, bow your head gently towards your heart. Feel the palms coming together, the right palm, left palm, both sides of you becoming one, the ha and the ta, the ha ta. So as we bring ourselves into the union of self, all levels of our being, mind, body, spirit. We honor our hearts and our breath and our healing. And we honor each other. Let's offer the sound of Om to end our practice. Deep breath in. Namaste, everyone. Thank you so much for coming today. I'm so grateful for this time together.